Welcome back. It's still a little choppy out there on the lake, and yeah. as we get these clouds starting to clear out, that could mean a frosty night. I know. That's why I was just rubbing the fingers or hands there, Ben, because it could get chilly. But if you're around the Lake Superior shoreline, you notice the waves. It's still high wave action, especially on M28 over off train base. So still dangerous for swimming. And got a little spray, a little light rain, stray rain showers for the Lake Superior shores especially. Temperatures are in the mid-50s. We still got a strong north wind driven by our high pressure to the north over the Canadian Shield. National Weather Service weather alerts. The beach hazard statement for the Lake Superior shores of Marquette Alger counties until 10 p.m. tonight and then a frost advisory kicking up until going into Wednesday morning central daylight time until 8 a.m. for Gogebek and Iron counties and chilling getting quite chilly with areas of patchy frost that could kill sensitive vegetation National Weather Service says hey protect your tender plants overnight out over the interior west and again dangerous swimming conditions for the evening not like you'd want to do that anyway with this chilly day overall across upper Michigan with temperatures mainly in the 50s at this time, 60 degrees over in Menominee, and a light spray of some rain, as I mentioned. Just a light, cool spray under mostly cloudy skies. And we zoom out in the satellite and radar picture. Talked about the Canadian Shield High, but look what's going on farther upstream over the Canadian prairies. There's a little bit of a tilt with some warmer air our way towards the end of the school and work week. So, to your weather headlines, we just got to deal with some frosty mornings, especially along the interior. Patchy for the western interior overnight, but as we get into late Wednesday to Thursday morning, that could be spreading across the inland areas west to east across upper Michigan. Warmer for Friday, enjoy it, but then the breeze picks up and that means it, the next system's coming. Showers returning for Friday, and once we get the rain moving on through, we get another cool down for the weekend. So there's going to be a brief warm stretch coming Thursday, Friday. Getting chilly, but across the shorelines tonight, temperatures mainly around 50 degrees with a northerly breeze. Scattered clouds late. Remember the high waves over the Lake Superior shore. All across the interior, temperatures could drop to the mid 30s, maybe an isolated lower 30s across the western interior. That's where we're watching for areas of patchy frost for overnight through tomorrow morning. We mentioned the high swim risk again, until 10 p.m. The high wave action and waves in rapid succession can tire swimmers quickly along the Lake Superior shores. Tomorrow across the shorelines, temperatures in the mainly 50s. You go farther away from Lake Superior, get to the lower 60s with some sunnier skies in the afternoon. Same for the interior with the temperatures going towards the lower 60s across the southern half of the region. To your TV6 extended forecast, the temperature lows for overnight Wednesday into early Early Thursday could be around the 30s or even some upper 20s. You can't rule that out for the interior west and east across upper Michigan before it becomes milder. But then as we get into Friday, as mentioned, we'll keep an eye on the system to come. And I'm just going to walk away and tell you that the system might be coming from northwestern Ontario to brush some rain. Looking for light, occasional, moderate. And we'd like that, Ben, because we got Friday night fever coming. Oh, yes. And remember, on the free TV6, thank you, Noel. And